Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use frames in Figma. So right here I have my main wireframe which is my main canvas for my webpage and all this really is is just uh, subframes stacked together like content blocks. So we have the header, hero section, uh, three column layout here, another section. So you can see over here these are other frames that I've made that I can just drag into the design. I have more over here as well. These are just column layouts, so one column, two column, three column. And so what I want to show you today is a lot of people when they design, and myself included, sometimes I do design this way, um, I want to just design in the main canvas area from scratch. So I've got my wireframe here. I'm actually going to move this over here a little bit closer to some of these other elements. So I've got my main canvas here, and I'm just going to start designing from scratch inside of here. So I'm creating my hero section right now. I'm just going to create it really quickly from scratch and um, this is how a lot of people like to design is they just come in here and design from scratch. So this is looking okay um, and it's one way to do it and then I could so that's my hero section right and then I could have my header up here and I've got this section. But I think a faster way to design is to use frames within frames. So I have my wireframe here. So if I already have this section framed out, then all I have to do is drag my existing frame into here, and I've got my hero section. Same with my header and footer. I've got my header and footer framed up over here. I just drag them over, and I've already got them in my design and they look great and they're all within their own frame which makes it I think a lot easier to make changes as well. So if you want to do it this way where you have your frame set up as sections and then you can just drag them over all you have to do is create those sections as frames outside of your current canvas. So for example let's say that I want a new section I'm going to start one over here and maybe this one's going to be a uh, a team section, our team. So I can start designing this section over here and all I have to do is design it once and then I can make it into a section I can reuse over and over and over again. So I'm just going to pull in some elements really quickly for the sake of time and so I've got my my team section here and I'm just going to get these lined up really quickly. I'm actually going to get rid of these and then just cycle these out. Again, for the sake of time, super fast. And okay, so I've got the R team section and perfect. So now I can name this instead of wireframe three, maybe this is R team section. And then I can just drag this into my main wireframe as a, as a content section. And so I'm going to redo that with this as a bottom constraint so I don't have to worry about that again. So yeah, I can just drag this team section in to my main wireframe. And now I've got that section in and it's already pre-designed and everything and I can reuse it in other places too. So I just have to get it to line up with the two. And you can see Figma kind of helps me know when I'm hitting that other content block because it's a frame. And so now I'm starting to get my design together. So I think this is a much faster way to design. You don't have to start as much from scratch. Then I can reuse this section anywhere I want. And let's say I had a couple of these and then I can frame them into sections like these ones. All I have to do is just hover over them and wrap in a new section and I could say, our team sections. And there we go. That's how you create those little sections that you can reuse. Um, you could also do it in the canvas. Like if you wanted to, you could go backwards and you could say, like, I'm going to design in here the opposite way. You could do that as well. So let's just say you have, let's just say this was the section here. And I'm going to pull a couple of these elements out really fast. Um, 
let's just say this was your other section and nothing super great but let's just say this was it okay so you have that as your section you can also frame this you can highlight it and do frame selection and then drag it out drag it out and I would give it a little bit of space and then you can center that within your frame. So now it's acting again within this content framework here. Um, so if you had another section there, then now it's a frame. So we did it that way, the backwards way, but you can also do it that way. And then if you don't like that section, you just take it off or you duplicate it or you change it, but it's so much easier than just having all the elements on the page. These are now acting like content blocks instead of um, abstract designs within your main canvas. So hope you find that helpful. And uh, I know it saved me a ton of time if I have these preset sections and I can just drag them over and then design them however I want. And then I can also when I go to create multiple page designs, I can just remove them really quickly if I don't want that one. I can. So it just makes it super fast and within a few seconds you can really just modify your design really quickly. So if this was a different page here and I only wanted these two sections, you saw how quick that was to make that, that change. And um, frames is really great. I love experimenting with them more and more. And then even putting them within these sections, it's nice too. You can do a lot of things there. So hope you found that helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.